My name is Ajibola Tajuddin, but you can call me Kimi. And today you're watching Conversations with Kimi, a show where we ask stuff and we make stuff. Today, like most of our episodes on season three, we'll be making a chain that will bind together our West Side Story community. Today, our guest is Claire Kelly, who is the director of our West Side Story and artistic director of Shakespeare on the Sound. She strives to empower the creative self-expression of her students. Help me in welcoming Claire Kelly. Thank you for having me. So what is Shakespeare on the Sound? Well, Shakespeare on the Sound is a professional theater company. Uh, that we perform mainly Shakespeare, and we also um, have one big show the year in June, and then we do year-round educational programming because education and community relations are a huge, huge part of our mission. The reason why Shakespeare is still relevant is because he tells these human stories. Have you ever felt like angry and betrayed by somebody? Okay, well, there, there you go, that's Hamlet. And I think people get hung up on his language because it's kind of old, but um, it's really the storytelling. So we, our mission is to tell the story clearly um, because Shakespeare is still relevant now. How did you become the artistic director of Shakespeare on the Sound? Um, well, that's an excellent question. I was originally hired as the um, director of education. And oh. I trained as a director, but also as an educator and a theater educator. And then eventually I directed three shows, and then they offered me the position of artistic director, which is kind of a dream come true. Have you ever thought about being on stage or set of behind the scenes? That's an excellent question. <laughs> um, I have been on stage early in my career, and um, yeah, no. I think, <laughs> I think the directing is my... I like to play all the parts, mm -hmm. and I always joke that I do play all the parts, but I kind of do play all the parts in my head. So I'm better at helping people discover their character and creating the world of the play rather than like being in it myself. So as you know, the, um, the theme behind West Side Story is about people not being tolerant of those who don't look or act like them. So have you ever dealt with that in your life? I have actually in, in a little bit of a different situation um, but I've been in a room with male directors because directing there aren't very many female directors mm -hmm. and um, especially in the Shakespeare world and I was just recently actually in a room with male directors and I was the only woman the only female artistic director in the room of probably 15 men and they were giving advice about theater and being an artistic director. And every time they were doling out advice, they looked at me, not at anybody else, but at me. And it felt really, really, really weird. Mm -hmm. But instead of kind of like hunching my shoulders and feeling sorry for myself, I sat up as straight as possible. I listened, I looked them in the eye, and I made comments and, and asked questions when appropriate because I wasn't going to let them kind of put me down. But I'm also older. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, probably 10 years ago I might not have done that. Um, and it can feel really, really awful when you feel like you're alone. But afterwards, two of the men who were in the room came up to me and said, it did not go unnoticed that you were the only woman in this room, and we were totally there for you, and so glad that you stayed and that you spoke up. So what would you say to young um, girls who want to be artistic directors? I would tell them to pursue their dreams, be true to themselves, believe in themselves even when people are telling you or telling them that they can't do it, and to look for allies because sometimes allies are where you least expect them. If you don't talk to other people, people that you trust, you can feel very, very, very alone. What do you plan on doing with the NPT self-defense class? Well, I'm actually um, really excited about that. Um, so I studied martial arts for five years, and um, I still love it. I had to take a break because I got injured. So we're gonna pair up in partners, and I'm gonna teach four or five of these very simple things you can do if someone is trying to grab you. 
in a couple of different ways. And common grabs that women or even like young kids are grabbed in a way that they're grabbed and how to protect themselves um, when if you find yourself in that situation. Um, so our partnership this year is Building One Community, as you know, mm -hmm. for West Side Story. And they thought of this idea of doing hands. So every one of our guests on Conversation with Kimi Great. will sign a hand and then we'll put them together with our chain at the West Side Story production. Okay. So cool. do you mind signing this? Of course. Come see West Side Story February 23rd with NPT and the Noak Symphony. You can come see our chain, our final product, and our hands. So let's show our work to the audience. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think you can read it, but it says creative self-expression. I wrote, believe in yourself, love, because love is the answer to everything, in my opinion. Um, inspire, follow your passion, be brave, and find your voice. Well, thank you so much, Claire, for joining us here on Season 3 of Conversations with Kimi. And I want you guys to remember, your voice is your power. So use it. Kimi out. Conversations with Kimi is produced with support from the Department of Economic and Community Development, Connecticut Office of the Arts, which also receives support from the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.